you and every single top producing real estate agent, I'm talking about agents that are making $500,000 or more in personal net income are the exact same. You're saying, Brandon, what in the world are you talking about? How can we be the exact same? Well, here's what I want you to think about. I think we would all agree that there are certain things that you must do in this business in order to uh, become successful, right? Uh, wake up early, follow a schedule, have goals, prospect every single day, have a follow-up system that is impeccable so nothing's falling through the cracks, have high, high skills from a sales ability, and be able to go on a listing appointment and get the seller to sign the contract 90% of the time. Now, you and I so far hopefully are in alignment. All of those things are required in order for a real estate agent to succeed at a high level, yes? Okay, cool. Well, here's the good news. None of those things do you like doing, nor do top real estate sales people like doing. I thought that was super inspiring the first time that I had uh, come across that thought. Think about this for a second. You don't like getting up early, following a schedule, being disciplined, being focused, prospecting four hours a day. Either does the top producing real estate agent. I'm telling you this from personal experience. I don't enjoy waking up early, going for a run, uh, following my schedule to a T, prospecting, dealing with rejection, um, handling rude people on the phone, feeling uncomfortable, feeling insecure about making these phone calls, going on appointments with strangers. I don't like doing any of those things. Here's the only difference. The only difference between you and the real estate agents that are succeeding at a super high level is they do it anyway. That's the only difference. The only difference is that they do these things that they don't like. And hopefully now that you, maybe maybe there was a part of you, certainly there was a part of me when I first started that said, I, I hate doing all these things. I hate prospecting. I hate doing all of these things. Maybe these top producers are like superhumans. Maybe they just love the rejection. They love making these phone calls. They love going to strangers' houses and having to compete on price and commissions and so on and so forth. Maybe they love that. Maybe that's why they're doing so well and, and maybe why I can't succeed at the levels that they're succeeding at. No, that's not the case. They hate doing those things as much as you do. Matter of fact, I'm gonna prove it to you. The famous boxer, Muhammad Ali, was quoted saying, I hated, hated doing my morning workout, but I loved being champion of the world. You see, you don't have to love prospecting. You don't have to love role playing. You don't have to love working on your sales skills, working up, waking up early, following schedule, being disciplined. You don't have to like any of it. You just have to fall in love with the results. You have to fall in love with the type of lifestyle you can create for yourself and for your family by doing these things. Now, the question is not, uh, they know how to do something that you don't know how to do. I already made a video about that. The question is, how can they do it anyways? How is it that they're able to hate something as much as you do and uh, not do them? This leads me to my second point. We live in a society that is addicted to instant gratification. Now, let me explain. Where the top sales person, the top sales real estate agent, the people making 500, 700, a million dollars a year, selling real estate, the only difference between them and you is they can delay the gratification where you're still addicted to the instant gratification. Let me explain. So you show up to the office, you have great intentions, you're there at 7.30, you do your role play, and right before eight o'clock hits, right before you know you need to start jumping on the phone, start making new conversations, focusing on top of funnel lead generation, Bob from the next office over comes over and says, hey, a couple of us are going to grab breakfast down the street. 
You want to join us? Think about this very moment. You can make the phone calls and maybe you get something, maybe you don't. And you say to yourself, oh, I can, I can make the, that up. I can make those phone calls later. I can go have breakfast and have instant gratification of having a great breakfast, feeling full, hanging out with friends. It's a lot easier. Okay, so what happens is these decisions, these small, what Darren Hardy says, small, insignificant, almost unnoticeable decisions compounded over time by delaying the gratification versus getting the instant gratification is why people win big or fail big. And yeah, you may not, you know, hit a home run by making your contacts this morning. And yeah, you may go to breakfast, enjoy yourself, because here's what's happening. The instant gratification, the reason why we are addicted to the instant gratification is because of this. That short-term decision, the decision of not prospecting, because prospecting will cause you pain instantly, those types of decisions, the decisions that cause you pain now, provide pleasure later and the decisions that give you pleasure now going to have breakfast probably another cup of coffee hanging out with friends having some good conversation gives you pleasure now gives you pain later and this is the simple idea that is causing real estate agents to struggle so badly in this business because they say listen if I don't prospect today no big deal It's not a big deal. You know, I'm not gonna sell the house today. I'm not gonna get paid from it today. And they keep behaving this way. And what ends up happening is in 18 months, 20 months, 36 months, they're out of the business. Because it's that type of behavior compounded over time that causes them to not have results versus versus saying no to the instant gratification, saying yes to delayed gratification, and staying consistent with these small, little, daily wins that compound into huge, huge results later. And a quick example of that before I let you go is Bob and Sue. Bob gets distracted. He prospects twice a day, okay? Or I'm sorry, he prospects twice a week. Sue prospects five days a week. Now, compound that over three years the amount of contacts that Sue makes on a consistent basis, five days a week over three years, versus Bob's twice a week over three years. Sue in three years is selling 100 homes a year. Bob is fighting bankruptcy. It's just small, small choices every day, compounded over time, that make all the difference. I hope this video helps you guys understand the mindset of people that win at a massive level and while you're scratching your head saying, wait a minute, they're not that much better than me. They're not doing anything that I don't know how to do. And you're right. And the other thing that you're absolutely right is, we all don't like doing the things uh, that cause us pain now, but the top achievers in this industry do them anyway.